What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Tegomatera here with the TDM gameplay on Drive-In. This is part of the new Annihilation map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, everyone's favorite game, haha, <laughs> just kidding. And this must have been my second time playing this map. Um, I learned my maps fairly quickly uh, compared to a lot of other people. I think the whole moving around thing has something to do with it. You know, not using ghosts and not sitting in a corner or, you know, head glitch. I think that has a lot to do with me learning the, the maps a lot quicker than everyone else. But, you know, whatever. I'm not here to bitch and complain about all the campers in Black Ops. So, the gameplay you are watching right now is not really a great game. Um, it is the only positive score on my team. I had one guy go even. Everyone else was negative. So, the reason I wanted to post this was because I carried my team to victory and I was pretty goddamn proud of myself score was 34 and 10 not great still keeping a 3 KD which for me you know is always a good score pretty much going positive in team deathmatch is a good thing um, honestly if all my teammates would have gotten even we would have won uh, a lot quicker and a lot easier and that's really all I ask for my teammates in team deathmatch is just go even um, I'll go positive. I know it's a little bit cocky, but every time I play team deathmatch I can pretty much guarantee a positive score for me And that is why I don't recommend going into the team deathmatch lobby by yourself. You usually get stuck with a bunch of scrubs Even if they are a couple of prestigious like my teammates were they must have been third or fourth prestigious some of them and They're just going way negative. I would expect people that have this much experience with the game to at least sort of know what they're doing and be able to, you know, carry their own weight. But <laughs> I guess these new maps really just stump some people and they just don't know how to play it. So Treyarch was talking about drive-in and they're saying this is going to be like another Nuketown map. And when they said that, I thought, oh great, we're going to have another close quarter map with a bunch of crazy spawns and it's not going to be a lot of fun. But this is most definitely not really a Nuketown map. This is a medium to a large map in my opinion. And this is actually a good thing because I hate tiny ass maps like Nuketown. Those maps are just way too hectic. You really can't you know, move around too much. And you tend up just dying over and over again. And people just spawn behind you and it's just crazy. But it's also good that it's not a ginormous map like Silo. And I'll get to that one in a second. And to me, this map is a good addition to the Annihilation map pack. Now Silo on the ha other hand is way too freaking big they need to size that map down maybe just cut off some portions of the map but for a regular six on six team death match most of the time that game is going to take the whole 10 minutes it's not really a lot of fun i mean maybe you just have like a sniper playlist and that's where all the snipers play but uh, i'd really rather not play that map again so in my opinion silo is a bad addition to the annihilation map pack just way too large hazard on the other hand it's kind of iffy for me. Uh, I really like the way the map looks. I like that, you know, they took Cliffside, one of the World of War favorites. But me, it seems that they made it bigger than it was in World of War. I'm not sure. And one of the reasons that Hazard is a little bit iffy for me, because the couple times that I've played it so far, uh, it just seems like a bunch of sniping and camping and really just not a lot of moving around. Maybe that's just for now, you know, while people are trying to get used to the maps. Or maybe it's just because it's Black Ops. I'm not sure, but... I'm most definitely not liking the way the map Hazard plays, so that's kind of an iffy map for me. Hangar 18, in my opinion, is another good addition to the Annihilation map pack. I really like the way that map plays, it's a lot more close quarter, though there is some long distance on that map. Um, you know, of course there's a lot of camping going on. So if you haven't got the Annihilation map pack just yet, um, I don't know if you should get it or not, it depends. You know, maybe if you're a camper and you don't move around a lot, then this is sort of your kind of thing. Uh, if you t like to rush around a lot, you might want to wait just a little bit so that all the campers kind of die down. Though I don't think that will ever happen because we are playing Black Ops. And somehow I'm from Mono for 2 and Black Ops, you know, it's just a bunch of campers. You know, I remember when I started playing COD 4, it was a lot more moving around. It was a lot more fun. And uh, see, like right there, what is he do? He's just sitting up there in the corner with his motion sensor. And I don't see how you can enjoy a game just by sitting there and not really getting a lot of kills. And I think it's a lot more fun, in my opinion, just to run out there, you know, try and get in the action. And pretty much just outplay them by outgunning them and not by outcamping them. But you know, whatever, I don't, I'm not going to complain too much. 
So that pretty much wraps up everything I want to say for this video, you know, cover the maps of the Annihilation DLC, bitched about the campers and black ops, pretty much overall just a great commentary. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give this a like rating, and in the comments below, I would uh, really like to hear you guys' thoughts on the new map pack, or you know, or if you're not going to buy it, why not? You know, so this video is starting to wrap up. This has been Tickle My Tarot, signing out, peace, see you guys later. Accomplished. Nice job.